Alright, so I'm just going to quickly set up the power and ground bus for when we build our two input AND gate. Um, I've already done it actually here, and you'll notice, unlike the last video, I have an additional red wire going from my power row up here um, onto this power bus here, um, the vertical one. Um, this is nothing more than what I demonstrated earlier, where I basically just took this and directly connected it to one of the vertical buses. Um, don't forget to bridge, this is very important, don't forget to bridge the gap between these. Um, I would recommend doing it all over the board, honestly. I just have it set up right now over here with uh, some white wires that you can't see. So um, let's start hooking up a switch. So take a wire of um, whatever color you want, I'm just going to use yellow here, and uh, place it in the first switch spot, which is conveniently labeled 1. Place the other end anywhere you want on the board. Um, you'll see that these these spots here, these are all connected horizontally, uh, whereas these are connected vertically. These holes are all connected horizontally. And um, much like the vertical bus here, there's also a gap that separates the sides. Um, you could connect these. I don't know why you would want to. You generally put your chips up and down on this, but um, you can do that. Um, so now take your probing wire, which is connected to your handy dandy logic monitor up here, and place it in any of the adjacent horizontal holes where you put your switch. Now, if you look up here, we have a low. And this is because my switch 1 is set to low, although you can't see it. But if I flip it up, it switches high. So when you toggle that, you can see your switch is actually working. Uh, just note that the power and ground that I have set up here, it doesn't actually affect the switch. Um, this is just a preliminary setup for um, actually doing the setup of the two input AND gate, but it works, so good job.